Joining me now, host of the No Spin News right here on The First TV, obviously a man who doesn't need any introduction from me, and author of Killing Crazy Horse and a bunch of other good books, Bill O'Reilly. Bill, obviously it wasn't quite as lively as last week's, and that's putting it mildly. I, look, I'm totally biased. I thought Mike Pence absolutely destroyed her. I thought she looked catty and stuttering and discombobulated. What would you see? I think Pence won the debate. Um, it started slow. Um, the first half hour was inconsequential. Second half hour, a little bit more intense. Then the last half hour, when they got to the Supreme Court, civil unrest, and the terrorism issue abroad, uh, Mike Pence just wiped her out. I mean, it was grim for Kamala Harris. Now, I don't really like her. Uh, as a person, after what she did in the Brett Kavanaugh hearings, I don't know her, never met her, but I thought that was a uh, that was just horrible, a lack of due process the senator practiced during those hearings. So I don't like her, and the audience ought to know that. But I think I have a pretty good perch to understand what happens in the middle of a debate. Now, the moderator asked very bad questions, speculative questions, questions Americans don't really care about. What they do care about is if the Biden-Harris ticket is radical left. And we found out tonight that they are, because she just wouldn't answer. And it was incredible. She had to know it was coming, whether she and Joe Biden will try to stack the Supreme Court. Wouldn't answer it. And she did a lot of this head shaking. Pence did a little of that. Um, and she did a lot of this phony smiling, you know, like, oh, what an idiot you are, that kind of stuff. Who likes that? Jesse, does anybody Bill, like I, that? I don't know anybody I'm, who likes that. All right. I'm glad you brought Pence up the Supreme Court thing, by the way. On that really quickly, I'm sorry, but on that, the, the Supreme Court thing. Do you think it matters to the American people? I was trying to wrap my mind around I mean, I'm a political guy. You're a political guy. You know what packing the Supreme Court means. Does somebody watching that, are they genuinely bothered? Do they even know what that means? Or is that one of those, those inside the bubble questions that people don't even know what they're talking about? Just move on and talk to me about taxes. I would say that the uh, majority of Americans know what it means. Um, but a substantial minority of no clue. But they do know what riots in the street mean and looters mean and they do know that joe biden and kamala harris are not on the side of the police and it's very obvious they do know that president trump wiped out isis and killed soleimani and joe biden was not even close to doing that as vice president so it's a cumulative effect now does anybody really care about Senator Harris, no. But they do care about Joe Biden being 78 years old and in declining health, at least mentally. They care about that. Do you really want this woman to be president? That's what it's all about. So Mike Pence was auditioning to be president. I hope everybody knows that. He's very loyal to Donald Trump. But that was an audition for Vice President Pence. If they go down and defeat in November, he'll be back. If they win in November, he'll try for the nomination next time around, four years from now. So that was his audition. He came across as a very authoritative guy. I mean, Harris came across as a lightweight. And I think that's fair, even though I don't like her. She's a lightweight, all right? She doesn't answer an obvious question. Well, what do you think's gonna happen, lady?